but does not fall into the category of its recipients. If a person who's not eligible to receive zakat and he asks zakat, the person who knows about it, he should not give him zakat. Just because he's asking, if you know very well he doesn't fall in the category, if he tells a lie and you don't know and you give by mistake, Allah will accept your zakat. But if you know, not only should you not give, but you should also warn him that it's a great sin. As a beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, one number two, in the book of Zakat, hadith number 1474, the beloved Prophet said, that anyone who keeps on asking from people to increase his wealth, on the day of resurrection, his face will be without any flesh. The beloved Prophet Muhammad also, also repeated another hadith. It's hadith of Sai Muslim, volume number two, in the book of Zakat, hadith number 2266, where the beloved Prophet said that anyone who asks from people in order to increase his own wealth actually asks live coals of fire for himself and it will not benefit him in the Akhirah. The several such hadith. The one more hadith which is mentioned in Sai Muslim, volume number two, in the book of Zakat, hadith number 2255, where a person comes and he begs from the message of Allah. And the message of Allah gives him some charity. Again he comes and he begs. Again the Prophet Muhammad gives him charity. Again for the third time he begs. Again the Prophet gives him charity and tells him that a person who begs, if he does with a clean heart, it will benefit him. But if he does it avariciously, it is like a green ripe fruit. The property is green and sweet. If a person begs with the correct intention, it will be good for him. But if a person begs with an avaricious mind, it will be lost for him. And it is like a person who eats and is never satisfied. And the Prophet said, the upper hand is better than the lower hand. And the Messenger of Allah also repeats another hadith in Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number two, Book of Zakat, hadith number 1629, that during the farewell pilgrimage, when the Prophet was distributing zakat, two young and robust men, they came and they asked that, please give us sadqa, please give us zakat. The Prophet looked at them and he said that there's no zakat for a rich man and a person who is healthy. That means they should work. They have a good healthy body Allah has given them, they should work. Unless what they work and they are not able to earn enough salary for their basic needs, then it's a different question. So based on the hadith, we realize that a person who is not liable for zakat should not ask zakat, and a person knows about it, he should stop him from asking zakat.